6.30 in the morning and it's just about an hour before high tide so I'm gonna put on the engine now and warm it up a little bit and then around 7 I'm gonna untie the lines and move over to that little flats place where I'm gonna drive all Carl to scrape his bottom. Fifteen minutes to high tide and I'm just gonna turn in and then like slowly putter to the place. So right now we have one and a half meters of water below our keels and the tide is about two and a half meters so soon we're going to be standing on the ground. Scrapey scrapey. That's really a nice little advantage of twin keels. You can just sit yourself on any tidal flat area and uh, play. Right now we're about two hours after high tide. We still have another seven feet to go down of eight and a half feet. I can already feel Carl bouncing a little bit on the keels, as in he's not floating 100% anymore. Like when the waves come in, you can feel that he goes like, dunk, 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 and touches here and there. We're still kind of floating, but I think we have about that much water under the keels right now. Yep, we're definitely sitting. Wonder we're kind of slow. barnacles but there is quite a lot of like furry stuff especially on the keels so that's probably why the boat was so heavy when we were trying to maneuver Following the little pilot boat out of the bay. It's 30 bucks for the pilot to get in and out. And uh, since it's a river and things change all the time, plus it's 30 bucks for not having your boat stranded on some sandbank. Not on purpose. I decided to invest the 30 bucks. 
Where's the coffee? from Bahia, Caracas, to a little place called Jaramijo, which is just east of the big city Manta. It's a little bay where we're going to stop. It's about 22 miles from here south. I didn't want to go right away on a super long trip, so we're just going to take it slow today and pot around a little bit, test everything, and... Uh, Take some microplastic samples. Right now, we're just uh, making some breakfast. Well, Maria is making some breakfast, and I'm just motoring um, a tiny little bit, probably like half an hour or an hour to the west. And it looks like once we're there, we can set a beautiful course south and sail down there. We've got all day, it's still early, it's 8.30, so we have until 5 o'clock, so even if we don't have much wind, we can just sit there and bob around and try different sails maybe and uh, enjoy being out on the ocean again. Super excited and uh, can't wait to try the microplastic trolley out here at sea. If we put the boom sail up, then we can make three knots. 1.9! plastic samples we launched the trawl for half an hour and during the trawl we try to keep a speed between 1.5 and 2 knots and the boat on a straight course. Wow that's like tons! <gasps> oh my gosh you really think that's or is that some kind oh, of Oh and there's some stingies as well here. Oh it's all jelly! We found 13 
plastic pieces in our sample, eight of them being microplastic, meaning they're less than five millimeters in size. The wind freshened up a bit in the afternoon and Carl was riding beautifully over the ocean. Manta was a big port, but uh, this is a pretty big port and it's a little rolly, but not that bad for now. We're anchored in five meters of water, tide is one and a half meters up and still one to go up, so that's not too bad. And um, the military zoomed out, they're exactly where we wanted to anchor. They're like, no, we're doing underwater training here, you can't anchor here. I'm like, great. So. Unfortunately, we had to move to a spot that it's a little bit more rolly, but uh, that's all right. We're only here for a night or two, I guess. And it's time for an echo beer. <laughs> Somewhere, but not the beach. But we're trying. Yay! Looks like you have quite the job ahead. I don't know. Think of that. <laughs> I think somebody said yesterday, oh, you know, I think it's going to be good. That it looks pretty clean over there. Start workout. What do you have in your bag? <laughs> lots and lots of plastic. Uh, yesterday we had trawled for 30 minutes and we thought that maybe we'd try to do the similar thing and walk in a straight line uh, for the same amount of time and see what we collected and see what microplastic is coming from from the beaches. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Uh, so we figure we're gonna lay it out and we're gonna uh, take a look and see um, what bits of differences there are. 
All right, exciting. Let's see what there is. Plastic bags. Three? Yeah. Eight containers that was foam. Eight, yeah. Okay. We trawled the beach walking in a straight line for half an hour and we picked up 248 pieces of plastic trash. Wow, that is quite a lot. If you would like to help fight plastic pollution, here's five simple ways to reduce single use plastic in your daily life. Bring your own reusable shopping bags. Use a reusable water bottle, say no to plastic straws, carry a reusable coffee mug, and use reusable containers to store or transport food. Thanks for being in motion to catch the wave to a cleaner tomorrow. Together we can make a difference. <laughs>